What's up everyone, it's Bucky and welcome to your third tutorial on robotics and electronics where we will be building a robot. So now that we figured out how to use our multimeter, I want to talk about the parts of the robot. And the first part that we're going to be using to build a robot is going to give the robot its power and that's a simple 9 volt battery as you can see here. Now you can use pretty much anything to power your robot, um, any type of battery. But I'm going with a 9 volt battery for this one and uh, this is probably much, probably the most common battery you're going to be using when testing electronics and robotics. Just because it has a lot of power, it's small and lightweight, and those two little things on top, it's going to make it incredibly easy to test electronics and robotics. Uh, not like a AA battery or AAA or any other kind. It's kind of hard to get your probes and your uh, alligator clips uh, clamped onto there so go pick up some 9 volt batteries and uh, this is what's going to power your robot and all your electronic circuits from now on so uh, with that being said let me show you guys how to test your battery using your multimeter get to use it for the first time alright guys the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is hook up your probes for your multimeter now the first thing that you're going to want to connect is you're going to want to put your black probe into the COM slot. Your black probe always goes in the slot labeled COM no matter what you're testing. So go ahead and stick that in there. And the next thing you want to do is look for what you're testing for. Since we're going to be testing the volts of the batteries, the volts is labeled on this slot right here. So go ahead and take this and put it right in there. That's what she said. And now we have our probes hooked up and we are ready to test. Once you have your probes hooked up, go ahead and turn your multimeter on. And you're going to want to switch it to DC volts. And in case you don't know where yours is, I talked about it in the last tutorial. And now once you have that switched on, you're ready to test your probes and hook them up to the battery.